in a war zone, there's a lot of terribly visually traumatic and auditorily traumatic things that happen to individuals in addition to physical blast to their brain. And this extreme, if you will, emotional trauma is believed to trigger a lot of biochemical processes in the emotional regulation centers, which are actually organic brain disease. So this emotional trauma actually on a cellular level turns into a physical ailment that we can treat. The idea that a seriously disabled, anxiety-paralyzed, suicidal veteran with PTSD has, quote, sustained just an emotional injury is completely inaccurate. When they see physical evidence, it is validation that they weren't making these things up, which so often they've been accused of by uh, the system, if you will. At a certain frequency in the red spectrum, the so-called near-infrared spectrum, is able to have healing effects on human tissue. What we're doing here at Ceroscan, we're employing something called near-infrared light or low-level light therapy in the near-infrared spectrum applied with LEDs, which are been shown to be very safe. We're applying those to the skull. The near-infrared light uh, acts on uh, hemoglobin and red blood cells and on the lining of blood vessels to uh, release nitric oxide. Now, nitric oxide has a very therapeutic and healing effect in the human body. It causes vasodilation locally. It will dilate the arteries in that area to bring more glucose and more oxygen. We've added the biomarker, if you will, of the brain blood flow brain scan to show actual improvements in brain blood flow with this treatment. We've seen amazing progress. We've seen 180 degree turnarounds. For so long, it's been a labor of, of love because we haven't really had anything that really worked. And now we're on the verge of having something that really does work and makes a difference. And so it's really great for me personally to, see, to be able to help these folks.